Hey guys and welcome back to another product review, this time for an Intel NUC. Uh, big thanks to Intel for sending out uh, this little product here. So it is a complete mini PC in this tiny little box. Uh, it is the NUC 8 i5 INH. Let's crack it open. So it's a cute little mini PC and all, but what can it do? What's inside of it? Well, hopefully I'm putting that info right here. Uh, we know we've got a Intel Core i5 processor, an 8th Gen one, uh, about 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of SSD storage, and we can connect Ethernet, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all the stuff, as well as it coming with Windows 10 Home by default. That's enough talking about it. Let's see what it can actually do. So on the front here, we've got a USB and a USB-C. And then around on the back, we've got two more USB 3.1 slots. And that means that you could plug in a mouse, keyboard, or a camera battery charger, a thumb drive, external hard drive, a USB controller, a phone charger, or the other end of the phone charger if you have a USB-C phone. A USB extension cable if yours isn't long enough. Or a USB desk fan. Or even a printer. Hold on, how can I forget? We've got a little SD card. Goes in the side here. So now that you've plugged all of that into it, or four of those into it, I bet you're wondering now, how much data can it store? This little thing here, it has 256 gigabytes of storage. What does 256 gigabytes get you? Well, 256 gigabytes is equal to 42 hours of 1080p video. The average movie is about two hours, so we can fit about 21 movies in. Each DVD case is about 1.3 centimeters tall, and that means you can get a stack of 27.3 centimeters tall worth of DVDs. Switch it over, look at photos. You can fit 73,200 photos at the 10 megapixel quality into 256 gigabytes. And each photo printed is about a quarter of a centimeter thick. And that means you can stack up 18.3 meters of printed photos on this little guy. And lastly, you have 256 thousand minutes of music. The average album is about 10 songs or 45 minutes. That means you can fit 5,688 albums. If each CD case is about a centimeter tall, that means you saved a stack of 56.88 meters in CDs. That's taller than a blue whale standing on its tail. All right, now my favorite thing about this little unit is its portability. I took it out for Christmas this year uh, down to my family's place down in Hamilton and the amount of stuff you need to pack is really minimal. An HDMI cable or if you want it does have a uh, mini display port if you prefer that but HDMI a bit more widely used with the TVs. You need your charging cable which will just plug into the back of this cable and then into the power socket with this cable. A mouse, uh, you could use a wireless one, this is just one I have laying around the house. And then optionally, you have also a keyboard if you need it, an ethernet cable, uh, maybe you don't have Wi-Fi, or you want a little bit faster streaming speeds, plug it into the ethernet. You can take away the keyboard, you can take away the ethernet cable, and this is all you really need. I think I can fit it in an ice cream container. Now see, you can practically fit it in an ice cream container. Nice, snug ice cream container full of all of the things you need to run your NUC. So that is a NUC, a mouse, the power cable, and an HDMI cable. 
Now you're good to travel, whether you go into an airplane, maybe you go into a hotel, parents' house like I did, you're good to go, just in one neat little compact unit. Now I hear what you guys are all saying, plug it in, plug it in. Well it is that time, I am now going to plug in the NUC and all of the peripherals that I'm going to need to set it up onto this TV right here. So we've done it, here's the NUC, it's got my USB mouse out the front, as well as the power and the HDMI out the back. The power just goes into the mains, while the HDMI goes in the back. So now it is that fateful time. Dramatic zoom. It worked! If I can set it up, it ain't that hard. So there's nothing stopping you from taking this to your hotel, plugging in all the peripherals you need, putting it into power, HDMIing it into the TV, and just connecting the little Wi-Fi down here uh, to the hotel Wi-Fi and streaming to your heart's content. Maybe you don't want just streaming, maybe you want to use your browser. You want to play some downloaded games that you have. Maybe you want to play some solitaire. You got all of those options here. Anything that you can do on a normal PC, you can do on this little NUC here. Except that this is a lot more convenient to travel with because of its size. So now this specific model of NUC, it's not for gaming. It's not on the heavy end of NUCs. It does only run an i5 processor. That means it's great for media streaming. Do you want to use it at home? As I said, traveling to hotels, family members, uh, maybe you got one of those family members who you have to do tech support for constantly uh, that don't actually need a big beefy computer, you can just buy them a small little knuck like this. But, you know me, I'm gonna try to game on it. So now, we're gonna see what we can get running on it. Now please remember, the number one thing we got told when I got given this knuck to review was blatantly, this is not a gaming PC. We're gonna game on it anyway. Now, we're just playing some Counter-Strike. We've jumped into some offline with bots, and uh, we're just gonna run around and see what our frames do. Uh, it's down here on the video. Hopefully I've got the uh, game capture playing, and you can um, look at that and see it a little bit closer and see what my FPS is doing as we run around. So you can see my FPS, you know, it's sitting just above 60. Sometimes I go into a more closed area and it drops down a little bit. Let's see if I drop a couple grenades. We drop down to about 45. We worst case drop this in here. So yeah, about 45. So it's not bad, but it's not good either, obviously. So we did get told it wasn't a, uh, a gaming machine. We defied them, we said we don't care, we're going to game anyway. If you're traveling around and you're going to be somewhere like in a hotel for maybe two to three days, not insane. Not insane to be playing uh, with this bit of FPS here. And uh, that is going to be all the gaming we're going to do on this. You know, we just wanted to see a little bit of a baseline of what FPS you can get in a game, sort of like Counter-Strike. It's not the most graphic intensive game. Uh, but we just have our settings on the uh, default settings as well. So we haven't cranked any of these up. Uh, massively so they've autoed themselves onto high uh, and you can see the settings here that they've put themselves on for video or if this is more your style you can also play solitaire uh, I think you get a solid oh, I don't need instructions oh, how do you play solitaire you can get a solid 60 frames per second here what okay I don't understand how to play solitaire but if you do you can play it here probably on 60 frames per second. There's no frameometer uh, here for Solitaire. So, big thanks to Intel for letting us review this little NUC, the NUC 8i5INH. Uh, we've seen now what you can plug into it, the USB slots, the USB-C. We've seen that you can use HDMI or mini display port. Do you want Ethernet? Do you want to use the Wi-Fi? Do you want to connect to it with Bluetooth? You know, we've seen the 8 gigs of RAM, we've seen the Intel i5 processor, we've seen 250 gigs, 256 gigs of storage. That's 
what was it, over a whale's length of CD cases stacked on top of each other. We've seen the computer going to sleep, sitting in the background here. Uh, we've seen it game, even though it is not a gaming machine. Clarify again, put a label on it. Not a gaming machine. We still got between 30 and 60 frames per second in Counter-Strike. It is your little box that can. Little travel package, maybe at home, maybe you don't have a smart TV and you want to put it behind it. Uh, maybe you've got a relative who isn't the most tech savvy, doesn't need a massive case. Get them a nice little nuck, they can plug everything they need into it. I bet you, if you went up to someone who doesn't know computers very well and you said, this little box is just as powerful as that big case you got over there, they wouldn't believe you. So you might need to show them the proof is in the pudding. It can be just as powerful as a case, if not more powerful, in some cases. So once again, big thanks to Intel. We're going to put it back in the box and send it on back to you. Fingers crossed I didn't break it by dropping a printer on it. I think I did. Hopefully.